James Milliken, Will Artino. Well, obviously, uh, you know, given what we've been through this year uh, with the number of, of close games that we've come up on the short end of, uh, <clears throat> my message to the team before the tournament is, you know, I think we've, I think they've established their legacy, this group of seniors, uh, because of their ability to stick with it, stick with each other. Uh, through a very adverse situation with you know, seven games in conference play where we led the last minute and lost, a lot of them being in the final seconds. Uh, and this is their time. It's, it's time to do something for themselves. And I'm just really proud uh, that the way, way they competed, I thought defensively, uh, we had a little more teeth the second half. Uh, I thought Will was exceptional uh, the second half. And obviously, you know, James got us off to that great start uh, with his play on both ends of the floor. So really proud of my team. Uh, looking forward to the opportunity to play Georgetown tomorrow night. Questions, please. <coughs> right here. Well, I thought it was really critical that that we got into the bonus first, uh, and by doing that, it allowed us to attack and get to the free throw line some. And <coughs> we made enough threes, and James shot it well enough the first half that I think they respected that shot a little bit more and it opened up some driving lanes. And as I said, I just thought defensively we were, we were better. We forced a few more turnovers. Uh, we made him shoot challenge shots, which, which, which was what we were after. And you know, we really got hurt by the three-point shot the first time we played him. Uh, and the last two times we've been a, done a better job of getting to those shooters. Over here, Steve, <coughs> on the right. James, talk about that. <coughs> Uh, we just started with transition points and and like my teammates looking for me. And like after I hit the first one, like my shot felt pretty good, so I took the next one. <coughs> Steve again. Yeah, I felt like. Coach told me to come in, bring some energy. That's kind of been my role these past few years. <coughs> I didn't felt like I didn't do a good enough job the first half coming off the bench and bring the energy in this half. They had, they had came put on a little run, and I knew it was my in my position as a senior leader to do my job. And like you said, I mean, I know my days are winding down, and I mean, I just wanted to give everything I had and you know keep swinging and keep trying to get these wins. Yeah, I think that tonight we did a great job of not getting rattled or flustered when they did go on their little runs. And like you said, we were able to respond very well with, uh, I remember Ricky hit a big shot one time and uh, I can't remember who else, but just uh, we were just able to keep our composure. And I think that's the biggest thing is sticking to the game plan at times. Throughout the season, we, uh, we kind of lose composure, kind of get out ahead of ourselves and try and do some stuff that we, we were not capable of doing. And we were able to stick in with ourselves play to our strength and continue to keep fighting and build, a, build back the lead. In the middle right here. <clears throat> you know, I, as I told the team, I really felt like we only played, Georgetown's only seen 20 minutes of what we're <laughs> capable of. Uh, we played a good first half uh, in D.C. Uh, and then got dominated the second half and then had as bad a loss as we've ever had on our home floor. Uh, when they came to Omaha. You know, there, there's a reason that happened. They're a heck of a basketball team. They're long, they're physical, uh, extremely well coached, uh, <clears throat> and tough with a short prep. But you know, I think our guys, if there's one team we'd want to play again, it would be them, just because we played so poorly the two times we played it against them. And, and maybe it's them. Maybe they're that much better than us. Uh, but at least tomorrow night, we'll give it an opportunity to find out. Right here in the middle. So you had 53 of your points. <coughs> Well, it was huge, and it's been it's been a, a critical part of our offense recently, uh, being a little bit more efficient than it was earlier in the season. We've we've learned to maybe turn down a three early in the shot clock that isn't a perfect three for us, 
to try to attack and, and see if we can't get a better shot. And, uh, you know, obviously James and, and Austin, Devin was outstanding tonight. You know, I, I, as I joke with Devin in the locker room, it, it is possible for him to play a game without a turnover. Uh, I wasn't sure after two years that that was possible. But for him to, to come back to New York City and, and play the way he did, uh, you know, he and Austin get 10 assists and no turnovers between them. That's really efficient basketball. Steve. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, obviously, <clears throat> they're a great ball team. And uh, like Coach Max said, we really didn't give them our best games. I think we played them both times pretty early in this Big East Conference play. And I think as a team ourselves, we've came a long way since then. Uh, and like you said, I mean, maybe they are that much better than us. Maybe they're not. But like you said, we're happy to get another shot at them. And, you know, we're going to go out there and play our hardest tomorrow, that's for sure. Anything else? Great, and thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Joe.